In this video, I want to establish relationships between rectangular coordinates and polar coordinates. These relationships will let us convert between the two coordinate systems. So imagine I have a point here that in polar coordinates is r comma theta. So I know this distance from the pole is r, and the angle rotated from the polar axis is theta. Well, that point would also have a x coordinate and rectangular coordinates and a y coordinate, so a horizontal distance and a vertical distance. Well, let's just think about this triangle for a moment. It's a right triangle, and I could think about cosine of the angle theta, and it would be x over r. And I look at that and I say, well, that's just the definition of cosine, so I don't even need to worry about being in the first quadrant because that's what cosine is. Solving for x tells me that x equals r cosine theta. Using the same re reasoning, sine theta is y over r, making y equal r sine theta. Those are my first two relationships. And in fact, I could use those two to convert a polar point to rectangular coordinates. So I want to convert the point 2 comma pi fourths to rectangular coordinates. Well, x is equal to 2 times the cosine of pi fourths. That's root 2 over 2 times 2, which is just root 2. y is equal to 2 times the sine of pi fourths, and I also get root 2. So root 2 comma root 2. So this point, which is 2 units away from the origin at an angle of pi fourths, so that makes it this point. In rectangular coordinates is root two comma root two. And I hope you notice that I applied the polar point because that is actually easier to do exactly without having to know that the square root of two is about 1.414. It also makes sense being right in the middle of the first quadrant that I have to have the same number in both spots. So those are my first two relationships. There are two more I wanna talk about. I could think about the Pythagorean theorem, which would tell me that x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Or I could think about tangent of my angle. Tangent theta is equal to y over x. And that's the definition of tangent. And those are the four relationships we need to convert between the two coordinate systems. Well, let's do a quick example of converting a rectangular point to polar coordinates. All right, well, I need an r and a theta. I'm gonna use these bottom two relationships. x squared plus y squared equals r squared, so eight squared plus eight squared, so 64 plus 64 is equal to r squared. Then r is equal to really plus or minus the square root of 128, which is plus or minus eight root two. Now, when I write my point down, I'm going to choose to make it the positive one. But that's why we don't take the square root in this relationship box, because r could be positive or negative. So 8 root 2. Now I need to find an angle. Well, if I plot this point, minus 8 comma positive 8, I think I know what angle that is. That's 3 pi fourths, but let's leverage this just so I can say that we did. 8 over minus 8 is minus 1. I need angles where tangent of theta is minus one. Well, that is either three pi fourths or seven pi fourths. By plotting the point, I know it's at three pi fourths. And there is my nice happy point.